Get Rich Slow with John Wolf. Hey, I just want to share with you the sort of basics of what goes into determining if you're going to get a home loan and what it looks like. So just at the bare basics, there are four factors that are going to determine if you get a home loan and what it looks like. And that's property, income, assets, and credit. I just want to take a moment to explain what I mean by those. When I say property, the factors that matter are what state is the property in? Is it a normal house in a neighborhood or a condo or a manufactured home? By income, I mean, how are you paid and how much are you paid? Are you a commission employee? Are you salaried or are you paid hourly? And sometimes I have to ask questions to really dig into the history. Um, one thing that's more relevant to know now than ever is how long do you have to work after you've been laid off or furloughed? Well, if you have a solid work history before, and that really means sometime in the last five years, I can show that you worked um, two years solid, not necessarily at the same job, but you know you didn't have more than a three month gap between any job, then you can probably get a home loan as soon as you have um, started at your new job, just, just as soon as you've had your first day. Um, and the only other really important thing I can think of, just broadly speaking on the income is that the only type of income that's treated super differently than just standard hourly wage is income for commission or bonuses, which you have to take some type of an average over time. All right. So uh, we've talked about property, income, now assets. Now assets, if I ask you about assets, I'm really asking two questions. How much money do you want to bring forward as down payment and closing costs for this home loan? And how much like other money do you have? And your retirement funds and any other monies that are in your name count to the second category and they don't necessarily need to be spent whatsoever. Um, one of the things that strengthens your home loan application is if I can show that like, hey, over here in their retirement account or, or anywhere else really, um, you know, they have enough cash to make a couple months payment. Uh, that's a huge thing to help you uh, qualify for home loan. And the last one is credit. And I just want to briefly explain how credit works for a home loan. And by the way, every company does credit for a standard home loan in the same way. And that is you have three credit scores. We actually pull a different kind of bureau than most other types, but you have three credit scores and the credit score that counts is the middle one. It does not actually matter what the other two scores are. So you could have like an 810, an 8, and somehow a 500. They 100 counts, no matter what. Um, if you have multiple people, um, it doesn't work the way I would really like it to work. If you have multiple people, so you have two people with, uh, you know, each of them have their three credit scores, it's whoever has the lowest middle credit score. That's the one that counts uh, for pricing. And, and unfortunately, that's just the way it is with uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, HUD and USDA and the VA. Those are just the rules, period. Um, let me know if this was helpful for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm a loan officer in Oregon and Washington. I'm really trying to demystify a super complicated topic for everybody. Have an awesome day. Oh, and uh, here's my license information I'm required to show you. So that's uh, John Wolf, my license number. And if you want to get a hold of me, uh, here's the info. Have an awesome day. Bye.